What's up guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to create an email newsletter template design within Canva, just like this one right here. We're gonna start and build this from scratch. Then we're gonna put that into Klaviyo, as you can see here, and we're gonna send it off. So I'm gonna go through that entire step-by-step -step process. All right, so we're gonna go into Canva. We're gonna start by creating a design. For Klaviyo, you should have your width 600 pixels so we're gonna go here, we're gonna do width is gonna be 600. Your height, generally anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 is where you wanna be. You can resize it if needed. However, this particular template is gonna be pretty long. It's gonna be 6,889 pixels. Now, we're gonna go into here and we're going to create this design pretty much from scratch. So I'm gonna start, I have already the, the assets from the template that we that I just showed you. So I'm gonna actually just drag and drop those into here. So in this hero header, we're gonna start out with a nice gradient background, and then we're gonna add the logo at the top so you can just grab that really just from, from the website. So now in our hero header, we really wanna make sure this is optimized for conversions. So we're going in here and we're featuring the product and we're featuring the offer. In this case, it's a 15% offer. So we're gonna add some text and we're gonna put it, we can put it at the top here. Let's get this energy party started. And we can make this just a little bit bigger. We can make this bold, make it a little bit bigger, change the colors potentially. So we're gonna do it like that. And then we're going to tell them to use this discount code right there. And you can move this around if you want to. Let's say, let's see here. So if we do this and if we, yeah, we'll kind of keep it, keep it as, we'll move, we'll move the, the gradient down a little bit so it's a little bit more pink and we can see this text a lot easier. Now we're gonna add in a picture of the product. So I'm gonna copy and paste that into there and we're gonna make it just a little, tiny bit smaller. So I hit K on my keyboard to resize it and still keep the same same height and width dimensions. All right, and this watermelon's a little bit too big. Now, since it's on top, we're gonna actually send it backwards, just like that. And then we're gonna take this other watermelon and we're gonna put it kind of behind there just to give it a nice, funky, fresh look. Okay. And then what we can actually do here is we can layer, bring this to the front. All right, there we are. Let's get this energy party started. Joy, 15% off. We can like underline that if we want to. 15% off your first order. And we can underline that right there. All right, so we have the hero header. We have that fully optimized. We're also gonna wanna add in a button down here. So we can go ahead and copy and paste something like that. So we have a little little button and then paste some text right there. Shop now and save 15% off. We wanna make sure that's as such. And then we can add this nice little gorgy. We can add that little logo. We could add it down here and let's cut it off just a little bit. So it's you can still read it, but outside the frame and let's take this guy we'll do something like such now if we wanted to we could even group these two together and what i like to do is i like to take one two three let's move this down a little bit let's take this button and put that within the first fold so that no one ever has to scroll down they can clearly see exactly what this is about and we'll resize this just a little bit here and we'll make this just a little bit smaller. Put it at the top there. We'll make this guy perfect. Something like that. All right, that's a great example of an optimized hero header. Okay, and then now we're gonna need a, a body section. So I'm gonna take a different color pink and we're gonna say, why Gorgie? What's so unique about this particular brand. We're gonna add in a couple things here. Delicious taste, good for you ingredients, and community driven. 
So we're assuming here, we've already written the copy. We're just adding it to the design and we're gonna add some icons. So we're gonna add this guy right here. Let's do, put that guy right there and we'll kind of line this up. And then you can take the time to space everything out perfectly, but we're gonna move on just like such. Good for you ingredients and community driven. There we are, okay, awesome. And let's move these guys up just, make sure these right there. Awesome, all right, I like that section right there. Okay, so that's exactly how you create the first couple sections of your email. I'm not gonna go through the entire email, I'm just gonna, going to really just copy, copy and paste a few sections down into here, but you can see this is an email that we designed for this brand. You can feature more of the products. You're just gonna need to find some icons, find some arrows, find the text, just like there. And then you can find a nice little background, put in some social proof, and then we can add in some more sections like this, time for main character energy, product shot, lifestyle shot, lifestyle shot product, lifestyle shot product, get your glow on as the CTA. And then at the end, we're just adding in another image, the uh, in action shot right here. And then right here, we can add, this can be a GIF if you want to, just for simplicity, it's not going to be. And then we'll actually crop out this. Uh, we could do a footer like this. So we just had that as a template. However, we're gonna crop that out right there. And there we are. We're gonna add the, we're gonna add in Clavio. We're gonna add in a footer ourselves. So we don't wanna do that within Canva here. I'll explain why in a second, but it's for deliverability purposes. A lot of people might say, oh, there's all these images. It's gonna get horrible deliverability. And that could happen, yes. But I'm gonna show you a couple tricks and tips on how to maximize the email deliverability for your all image emails. Hint, we're not gonna make them all images. We're gonna add some actual live text into here, but we're gonna add it in a certain place at the bottom. That still allows Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo to read that text and they'll understand that this isn't a spam email, but it allows us to send images like these and show off our nice, pretty designs in our products. So it's the best of both worlds. So stick around, make sure, learn how we do that. All right, so we have this fully designed email within Canva. Got to do a couple steps here. First, we're going to export it. So we can go hit download PNG right there and we should be good. All right, we'll give it a second. In the meantime, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to imagecompressor.com and we're gonna actually compress this image. This is one thing that we do for deliverability is we compress our images, make them load as fast as possible. That really helps decrease the file size. So we're gonna take this guy right here and we're going to take this big, massive image and we're gonna reduce it down. All right, while that is going, we're gonna download that right there. And then before we put this into Clavio, we need to slice it up. Now, Canva, unfortunately, no matter what I've tried and looked into and researched, there's no good way to do image slices. So this is where we need something else to slice up the, these images because right now, I'm not sure why the heck that is not working. Right now, this is a massive image and we need to have smaller slices. So let's actually put this into this, this version that we, assuming that we compressed it with imagecompressor.com. We're gonna try that again. Hopefully it works. Not sure why it's not available. Either way, you would take that compressed version, put it into Figma here and I know this is not a Figma tutorial, but this is the best use of, and reason why you should use Figma probably instead of Canva. But either way, we just, you wanna use for this tutorial, we wanna use slices within Figma. So what you can do here is you can hit S on your keyboard and you can use this slice tool. And this is gonna create multiple different slices. And then we can export these, these slices. We're gonna go into here and we're gonna create slices basically on top of our design. Okay. So like this entire section here, we don't want that to be one big slice. We need that to be less. Okay, so we're doing this. And by the way, each slice is, you can add a link to that slice. So 
We want to capture peach tea right here is going to be one slice. Electric berry is going to be one slice. This little guy right here is going to be a slice. And then we can do this little thing right here is going to be one slice. All right. Now we can go to all of these and we can hit export nine layers. There we are. Now we're going to go open this up and extract all. Now we have these, which now we can either go back to image compressor and we can put these, this might work a little bit better. We're going to put these guys into image compressor and then you can download all of these. So it'll say min. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we are. That's probably a better way. Probably couldn't optimize that massive image. Either way, you want to figure it out. Okay. We're going to start from scratch with Enclavio to build that campaign. So we're going to go back to campaigns. We're going to do create a campaign. We're going to call it Gorgy test and continue. Now we're going to just select anybody to send it to. We're going to turn off, skip recently emailed profiles. That way everyone receives the email and you don't skip anybody for no reason. And then you can add a subject line preview text, but just for the sake of this, we're not going to at the moment. Okay. Now we open this up, delete this guy right here. Don't need that. Don't need this guy right here. And now we're going to add and take our content and let's start dragging and dropping. So we're going to go from the top slice one, boom, right there. Slice two. We're going to add that right there. Slice three. Whoops. And we can go from there. Four, five, six. Can add these guys. Now it might be out of order. So you got to watch that. Okay. Seven there, eight and nine. All right. Now we've created it in Figma or sliced it in Figma. And it is now in Clavio. We need to for deliverability, do a couple things here. First, we need to add in some alt texts and we need to add in link addresses. Wherever you want to, gorgy.com or whatever your link is, you put that right here. And then alt text, you just need to take a little bit of text from here. So we'll say, let's get this energy party started. This is gonna be, if, if someone can't access images, they're gonna be able to see this alt text right here. So you just take this text whatever's in here, put it into the alt text. And then right here, why Gorgi? And you wanna make sure every link, every image has a link. Even if it's something like this or something like this, where there's no CTI, you still wanna link it. Like in this case, you'd link it to this particular product. You'd link it to this PhD product. You still, if people click on this image, you wanna take them to that product. The whole goal of the email is to take them from Gmail, their inbox, Yahoo, wherever, to your website. Okay. So assuming you put in the alt text and link dresses for all of these, we need to add the footer. Now, I don't like to have social media icons in there because you don't want people scrolling Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and getting lost. You want them going on your website. So we're gonna delete that. And I actually created a universal style right here just as a very rough template of how we like to do this. So here is where we are adding in actual live text. So that way you have a nice mix of text and images above here. So we're doing everything that we possibly can to make these images as small as they can be. We're making, we're adding alt text for deliverability. We're making them optimized for deliverability and we're adding text at the bottom here so that all the inbox providers can read what is in this email. So here we just took some text from the about us page and we're gonna use this for every single email and we can delete this guy, this guy right here. But overall, this is the, a very standard basic footer that will allow us to get maximized deliverability. And that's it. That is how we create an email campaign. At this point, you can hit exit and you can add your subject line and your preview text right there. And then you can continue to review and then you're ready to send. Just make sure you have the right recipients. You're looking at the, sub, the correct subject line preview text, and then you can go ahead and schedule it or send now. Awesome. I appreciate your time here. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, feel free to check out zhs-ecom 
www.ossfieldcoaching.com. If you're interested in us helping you do all of this for you, create beautiful email designs like the one that you just saw that our team personally created, and go check out our website as well. You can opt in to our newsletter and get daily insights, everything email marketing related that I've ever created, all my guides, all my PDFs, all that good stuff in your inbox. Appreciate it.